Alright, so today I'm gonna be working on my car. Um, I'm gonna install this wiring uh, pigtail harness, what do you wanna call it, on my car. This one right here, it connects to the headlight because I'll show you right now. Um, my headlight, I have aftermarket headlights. I don't think it has anything to do with it, but what's it called? And I guess the harness was kind of an area where it could get wet. So it's not the headlight's fault, it's fine. So I need to replace the actual harness itself because it kind of got water and then it started to get water inside the, the connection. So the connection started failing and now my DRLs, uh, daytime running lights don't work when I turn on my low beam. So I'll show you them regularly, okay? So like here, whatever, here they work, even here they work, you know? So I turn that on, look, I'll show you. See, that one's on. Oh, you see, look, that one isn't on. It's only when the car's on, on then, I believe. And accessory mode is not on. You see, the car's, the car's in accessory mode. And then I turn it on, on. You see, that one's on. And that one's on. It doesn't make any sense. Watch me turn on the low beam. So like there. This one, it works. You see it's there, it's on. You go to this side, it doesn't work anymore. It's just the low beam. And I've taken off the bumper four and checked. And that's how I know that I need to replace this section because it's all messed up right there. Like all inside of these pins, it's all messed up. So I'm gonna cut the stock harness and rewire that. I bought some uh, some tools for that. Right there. So the connection's good and hopefully no water gets in it. But now, I have to take the whole front end off, you know, cause I gotta get to the headlight. So the whole front bumper needs to come off, the play bracket needs to come off. And yeah, so that's gonna do, that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so I took the bumper off, you see? No bumper, it's right there. Uh, I'm gonna need to remove the headlight now. This is a pain, I honestly don't like doing this shit, it's annoying. There's one here, there's another. Right there. It's a, uh, it's uh, that bolt right there. You have to get it from the other side, I believe. Oh, and I think it is that side. You get it from there. Yeah, you get it from that side. And then there's like two other bolts down here. There's this one, and you gotta get it from the back also. So behind the headlight. And there's one exactly like that on this side. Let's see if I can find it. Um, I actually may have not put it in, but it's supposed to go right there. Huh. It's right there. It's supposed to be right there. But I don't think I put it in. <laughs> but yeah. Alright, so it's either get rid of those and the headlight will come out. As you can see, the headlight is out. And like I said, that video, that, the little bolt I showed you that I didn't put in, I actually didn't put in. So all I had was that bolt was in and that one that i showed that i tried to zoom into this one i never put a bolt in there because it was it's, it's a bitch to get into and then that and then it has i mean this one and then this one those are the only ones it has mm. i'll show you the harness on this one you see it's not corroded it looks fine try to get some sun in there but yeah you see it's fine it's, it has all its pins what messed up is the harness one and you can't really tell because i cleaned it out last time i was in here but look at that you can still see the rust on like these two right here and the corrosion and the water. So I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna just double, make sure it's the right one. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna unclip this cover and I'll get the other one and I'll unclip it also to show you guys. So as you can see, this is a new one. It looks way better, see? But yeah, it's the exact same look. All the wires match. Every single spot that this has a wire, that one has a wire and vice versa, you see? It's the exact same. 
So yeah, I'm gonna remove all this tape on this one and this one. And then I'm probably just cut like around here. I don't wanna go too far because what happens if I need more wire. So I'm gonna cut like literally like right here. And yeah. So yeah, let me just remove all this tape on both of them and then I'll be back. All right, so as you can see, I got the tape uh, the wires exposed here. I'm gonna make sure how many there is just to make sure again one uh, two three four five six wires Now where's the new one? Right here. One two There's two right there two three four five six six wires in there too. All right, so we're good I'm gonna disconnect the rear battery. Well, the, well, the only battery has what's in the rear. That's why I said rear battery. I'm just gonna uh, disconnect the the ground, the black one, and because I do not want to cut wires and some shit go down. I already took the cover off, it's right there. But yeah, I just got to disconnect the black one. That's it. I tied this just in case my car locks. I do not want it to lock on me. I like well the trunk lock, so I did that. I'm putting that there so it won't lock on me. Make sure I unlock the car right now. So it stays unlocked, put the keys there. Now I'll disconnect the, the black, the ground cable. All right, I just disconnected the cable. I put a, a towel over so it won't connect. You can't really see if it's dark. But yeah, now I try to move, time to move back to the front and disconnect. We'll cut that wire and start splicing. Oh, uh, look at that. I just cut the wire. I mean, worst case scenario, if it's not the nozzle, don't fat that we redo the stock one. We just stock one back in. I'm gonna get my heat gun. That's a good heat shrink. The connectors. But yeah. So now we're gonna start exposing some of the wire. Like the actual wire. Like the, the thing's copper or something. That's in there. Exposing it. And then exposing it on this side. And connecting them. Alright. So I'm not using these instead of the heat shrink ones because I had ended up already messing up two. I didn't hit it, I didn't press them right and it was loose, so it fell out. And I only had four left and I need six. And this one just comes with a bunch of these. And only, it only came with six of those and that, that would mean I would not have to mess up, but I messed up. So I couldn't use them anymore. So I just use these, you see they're all connected. I already tugged on them to make sure they don't come out. These are not heat shrink, like I said. So I might still even hit them with electrical tape right now. But first, before I even put electrical tape and then put it at the whole car back together, I need to test them. Because it sucked for me to do this and then electrical tape everything, put the car back together and the headlights still not work. So yeah, if this doesn't work, I'm probably gonna go back to the old fashioned, twist them together and some electrical tape. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna plug the headlight back in right now and turn the car on, well, connect the battery, then Turn it to accessory mode and hopefully everything works. Now, uh, where the hell did I leave my keys? I can't find my keys. Where the hell are my keys? I can't even turn on the car on my keys. Hopefully I... I left them in the trunk. I'm stupid because I could... Oh no, I put them here. <laughs> in the video, you'll probably see that I put them here. <laughs> well, since it's been a while, since I was up there, I forgot. Alright, this is the test. Everything, accessory mode, in theory, putting it here should make it work. So this is low beams. I think I got it guys. I got it. Yes! Let's fucking go bro. My car hasn't been working with these headlights and forever fuck yes we did it guys now we can turn off the car clean this shit up so my sd my sd card got full that's why they cut off but like i said we finally got it to work but yeah we got it to work i'm excited i didn't even have to use the heat gun because the one i put wasn't even heat shrink like it wasn't able to heat shrink so, but yeah i'm glad i finally got my car to work when I'm at work, but my headlights work. So I've been, like I said in the last guy, I've been running with just my halos and fogs. That's all I've been running because I, I it would bother me. My OCD would trigger me when I turn on my low beam and the whole halo would fucking disappear. It was annoying and I just looked ugly. So I would just run my halos 
or whatever daytime running lights and my fogs that's all i would run at night and i couldn't see jack shit <laughs> it was dark as fuck and the fogs didn't do that much light but yeah but now everything works so now i think to put everything back together i'm really excited i'll show you guys the complete uh well when i want to put everything back together i'll show you guys before and after of like how i would drive and shit and uh, how it is now all right now that i show you guys that it works and everything now we can finally put electrical tape all over this to keep it nice and clean like this it will be a big bulk right here because i put all this i did text my friend he's an electrician <laughs> he did tell me i should have spliced them like uh, staggered so like do one here then here then here and here not all right next to each other because like he said there was gonna be a big bulk in the higher harness we said it's fine it's whatever he goes it's, it's good for for like a beginner you can say like me uh so yeah um so now we're gonna put all that higher away and make it look clean and then i'll show you guys after so you see uh everything is all done you can no longer see any of the wiring it's all clean i'm well, not really that clean but yeah you see this is where all that bulk i was talking about is gonna be but yeah i'll hide it and protect it from the water hopefully and now i just gotta put my headlight back in right here okay so i'm all done everything's back together all the bumper remember to reconnect your fog lights your headlights the headlight washer fluids uh shit like that i put my playback on see everything's back together now i'm gonna show you how i used to drive my car before the headlights even worked like still they did well they did work but my like i said like this this daytime running light this one right here would go off when i turn the low beam on but look, i'm gonna show you how i used to drive when that didn't work hold on let me close my trunk oh i can't the tile's in the way Oh, you know what? I didn't even do that either. I'll do that right now. Hold on. So, okay. I used to do this. I used to just hit this once over. So it'd be right there. They turn around and then I hit the fog light. You see, and it show that. And I used to drive like this at night. This has to drive at night because my headlights wouldn't work. Well, like I said, this one would not work. It, it, it would like the low beam would work but it pissed me off because it looked ugly my OCD would go crazy but now that we did all this now we can run our full headlight and the LED is still gonna be on you see yeah that's what I'm talking about I do need to readjust the headlights I'm probably gonna do that right now off video but yeah you see that's pretty much it for the video I fixed my headlight uh, thanks for watching this is for people that had this problem because i have ran into people on forums and the bmw pages that their headlight also stopped working like that uh, they tell me light will stop working when they turn on their low beam so hopefully this video uh, helps a few of you guys that have the same problem uh, but yeah that's pretty much this video uh like comment subscribe see you on the next one Ella no me da problema, ella, ella, eh, eh, eh. A mí no me da problema, ella, ella, no, no.